Audrey, what is it that you request? The mercy of God and acceptance into the community of your sisters. May the Lord grant you communion with all those whom he has called to follow him in this special way. Amen. God, again and again, you call people into your special service to follow you. Hear the request of our postulant, Audrey. Out of love for Jesus Christ, she wishes to become part of our community. Grant that our common life, our prayer and work may be sustained by mutual love. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. On this Vespers of the seventh Sunday of Eastertide, we just sang a hymn to the Holy Spirit. And next Sunday, we celebrate the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, not only to the first church, but to us as well. And what we celebrate this afternoon was the outpouring of the Holy Spirit in St. Benedict's life 1,500 years ago. And in all of our sisters done a 1,000 years of Eichstätt's history, of all of our founding sisters. And so what we celebrate this afternoon is, again, the activity of the Holy Spirit the activity of the Holy Spirit that brought us here, the activity of the Holy Spirit that brings you here. And so as we, before we begin this wonderful Vesper service, one of the seven times a day that we pray together every day, and then today we welcome you in by giving you a sign of, uh, as Benedict did, receiving the Benedictine habit into our monastic community. When Benedict went out to, uh, he studied in Rome, and he was so disappointed in what he saw in Rome. You know, the, um, we would call them now the terrorists, overran, sacked Rome, destroyed all the, anything that was left to the Roman law and order. And so he knew his heart was meant for something greater and something bigger. And he went out, and he went out to live as a hermit in a cave. And uh, he met this monk, and the monk gave him the habit as a sign that he was putting on this new person of Christ, this new man of Christ. And so many people, there was a time when nurses got their nurse's cap. You know, people get their class rings, people get engagement rings, okay? And for us, this is a sign 
of our dedication of our life, not only of our ministry, but like wedding of our whole life. And so Benedict asks us to listen to uh, listen, oh my children, to the ear of your father's heart. Listen to the ear of the heart, not just all the noise that goes through, not just all of the things that now the pandemic has helped to cease, but we've had 1,500 years of not hearing that, but to listen to the voice of our heart. And what does our heart say? Our heart says that it is restless until it rests in thee, oh my God. That was the movement of the Holy Spirit of Augustine in 300. And so our hearts are always restless, but we don't always know for what. And Benedict talks about what do we ask of the novice? We ask them if they seek God. We ask them if they're ready for the hardships of life. We ask them if they're ready for obe obedience, humiliations. You know, one of the humiliations is there's many people out there waiting to live stream this at four o'clock and it's a quarter of five. So this is already a humiliation. And life just has a way of saying, no, life is not perfect. We're not perfect and life is not perfect. And how are we going to deal that with Christ's help? And to seek God because we all have this hunger for this something more. We want the good, the true, the beautiful. And that's what makes us human. And so when we, when we seek God, then we can enjoy everything else because we don't expect it to be God. And we're so blessed in the Benedictine tradition that it's 1,500 years. I've always wanted to put it on our letterhead. Been in business for 1,500 years. And just as we see the light come in through these windows, this is the way that the rule of Benedict, the wisdom document of Benedict, helps to refine and make specific the gospel because it's all about making the gospel practical in our daily life and in following Jesus. And so here we are this afternoon welcoming you and it's a renewal for us to listen better to the ear of our hearts, no matter how long we've been doing it, but to listen even more and to also to seek God, not just the customs of what it brings or the un or the unexpected of the last two and a half months. But where is God in all of this? And how is God revealing his love and his mercy? And that is why we come here together also to pray together the seven times a day, because not everybody has this time. And we are in a post praying for people who share with us what's in their hearts and so that they also can seek God better for them. Dear Audrey, in the presence of the sisters, I ask you, are you ready to seek God in our community and to examine your call to religious life? Trusting in God, I am. Then at this time, I accept you as a novice in our community so that you may examine the monastic life and may God himself complete the good work he has begun in you. Amen. Receive the veil and the habit of our community. Learn to carry Christ's yoke. And remember the Apostle Paul's words. Put on the new man who has been created according to God's image so that your life may truly be just and holy.
God, you have shown us that the things of this world cannot fulfill our needs. And you have called us to deny ourselves that we may share eternal life with you. Awaken in your servant the love for spiritual things and keep her through the bonds of sisterly love. Teach her to observe the rule of our holy father, St. Benedict, with eagerness so that she may recognize the grace of her call, which was given to her without merit through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. And may the Lord let his face shine upon you and have mercy on us. And may the Lord bring our calling to completion. May the triune God grant our request, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Okay, and then we welcome you to come up, and then the community will welcome you with the liturgical sign of peace. <laughs>